When we speak in public, it's only 7% are words, 53% is facial expression and 35% is voice tone. Yes, I am Shruti Sada and I am going to discuss about how to present not only by words but even the 93%, the remaining part. Yes. So first, when we speak, when we present, we need to stand in sweet spot. That is a spot where from the first row of audience, it will be between 3 to 5 feet. So that you will be visible to everybody and even accessible to everybody. Then when you are standing, you need to have your feet pointed towards audience. And that is again outward so that everybody will feel included. For example, if you are speaking to one person, then you can have definitely feet pointed towards a specific person. But when you are talking to a group or a big in a big room, then it has to be open so that everybody will feel included in that conversation. Next, even if you move in room, Make sure to stand and then speak in similar fashion so that everybody will feel included even if you move in somewhere in the room. Open for everybody. Next is if you use podium while presenting, I will be always having my hands visible and presenting towards presenting toward audience with shoulders as my feet will not be visible to audience. So I have to keep my uh, uh, shoulders in such a way that it will be looking like open for people to talk and discuss. The next point is, even if you move around in room, then you will come back to your spot even after finishing your talk to back to your speed spot, which we call it as like again the distance between first row to you between 3 to 10 feet. Then, Use targeted movements for uh, people to understand the things. Don't move your hand here and there without having, without making any point. If you will not do that, it will not be engaging and people will not be able to concentrate on your words as your body movement will distract them. So to keep engaged, it has to be properly targeted movements of your hands. It should not be delivering, your movements are showing something else and the words are getting delivered, that is something else. Use your feet to move and then speak. It will not be like moving and speaking and simultaneously that cannot go hand in hand. You have to move. If you want to move by speaking, you certainly can move. Go to that certain specific spot and then again stand in a position which will make you look open and then speak. Avoid body fidgets. I am going to talk about some of the fidgets or crutches what we call which not only disturb or look make it look bad it even make us look dull while delivering things. 1. Putting hands in pocket that makes you look nervous and showing as if you are trying to hide something. When you are there to present something you do not want to hide. You want to show your knowledge. You want to impart everything to the people who are attending that uh, seminar or workshop or your uh, uh, lecture. So never put your pocket in your, never put your hands in your pocket. Second, pacing back and forth. You are just moving continuously back and forth. That doesn't look very confident and it doesn't give very positive feedback about you to the public who are listening to you. Defaulting your hands near abdomen or chest, keeping it like this or keeping it fold like this. It will not only again as I show, again as I told you, it will show you as you are trying to hide something or showing your nervousness. You are not open to the people who would like to listen to you. The next is shifting their weight. Mean to say that is again a sign of nervousness. Confident people will stand like this a straight 
they'll not keep moving here and moving this line and making their weight shift and moving continuously. Next is crossing your legs or palms this way. That will again make you look closed, will make you look uh, unconfident or like not being comfortable in front of public. So these fidgets you need to avoid rubbing or touching any part of your body like this or like this. Many people even play with hair doing something, keeping, keep doing something like this. That doesn't look good. Neither portray you as a positive person or a authoritative person. For that, you have to avoid this. Another way, like avoid facial features, like blinking too much, like this, this, this. That will not make you look good. Again, making eyes bigger or darting eyes away from audience or raising eyebrows continuously. It really doesn't look good and it shows you negative way. If you do this or practice, then you will see even if you try to doing this, following these steps or try to do video shoot. If you are not comfortable doing the video shoot following these steps, then you should not be presenting. If you want to present, you need to make your audience comfortable. After all, it is not about your comfort. It is about their comfort first. If you want to present, then get rid of these crutches, fidgets and present amazingly well.